Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're still live from Cali, Colombia. And unfortunately, today I got into a little fender bender on my bike, man. And so I'm going to be showing you all the footage of this happening. I got it on tape and everything. So take a ride with me around Cali and see what happened. Let's get into it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Like, comment, and subscribe to your boy, Kari.hq. All right. So it's time to get the glizzy out of here. And yeah, go explore a little bit of Cali. Uh, we'll go up and hang out and see what's going on on the streets. Probably, I want to see if I can get a wash, but it's Sunday, so maybe not. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm going to get something to eat, if nothing else. Let's do it. Okay. And so, and so. Listo, gracias. Sí, conta via. All right, guys, we are out and about in Cali. Ooh. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but the streets are bad out here. Worse than Medellin. On average. So, yeah, this is Cali, Colombia, guys. Made it in last night. Uh, haven't done much last night. I just went out, got some food because I was super tired after driving for seven plus hours, as you could imagine. Um, so yeah, right now, I'm trying to go see if this car wash is open, get the, get the glizzy washed up, and uh, yeah, from there, probably get some food, and uh, see what else is going on, you know, maybe you have to find uh, some place where they're doing salsa, who knows. You go down the street. Okay. It looked like maybe not with those directional arrows. Oh, see? Like that? Those directional arrows. Let's see, there's a truck behind me that went down that way, and the GPS said go down that way. But yeah, a truck behind me also did. So, I don't know. Already look like a crazy driver in, in, uh, in a Cali, but it's all good. Alright, let's get into the swing of things. Of course, it's always a lot harder to drive when you don't know the streets in the area. It's a little dangerous, a little more dangerous than when you know your area. But, uh, our plan is take it slow, take it slow, don't drive too fast like you're in Medellin, um, where I obviously I know where I'm going, I hardly even use GPS in Medellin, just because uh, I, I don't need it. I see a lot of people like halfway wearing their helmet out here. Um, they're just way more relaxed. Maybe it has to do with the heat and uh, people not wanting to be all sweaty because the helmet gets hot sometimes depending on what type of helmet you got. Alright, so I believe what we see here is a, uh, this is like a uh, one of the main streets right here in front of us and then you got the bus stops that run like in the middle of the street this is the San Nicolas 
uh, bus stop right here. And it, it might be like a moto zone right here. I see uh, some moto shops over there and stuff. Uh, I got the police behind me on her little scooter. Um, and yeah, first off, the temperature, guys. It's uh, definitely hotter here than it is in uh, Medellin. But it's not like uh, Cartagena hot. It's probably somewhere in the middle between Cartagena and Medellin. But uh, in the nighttime, it's super comfortable. Like, you know, it's, it's almost similar to Medellin at night. But in the daytime, it's... Uh, it gets like humid and and all that and it um hasn't rained since i've been here but last time i was here it did rain like every day so yeah you get you get a good amount of rain in cali luckily haven't seen any yet and i hope it stays that way quite honestly so wow this where, where this place is taking me, it says 36 minutes, and I'm going, I'm going way too in front of the, in front of the stoplights. Like I'm getting past the stopping point where you should stop, where you can still see the, the signals. And really quick, I think the problem with my GPS is that I have it uh, on walking directions instead of uh instead of uh on a moto yeah so let me change this okay yeah it just went from 35 minutes to seven minutes and that may be part of the reason it would uh give me or tell me to go down to one way because if you're walking obviously you could go down uh any direction on any street versus if you're if you're on a moto you gotta uh, go down the right direction of the street <laughs> All right So yeah, man Nothing sexier than a woman on a moto Especially with red hair Man, gotta love Medellin and Cali and the whole entire Colombia for that No place does it quite the same I must say Alright, it uh, looks like out here they they'll inch up into the into the um, crossing and and maybe they'll take off if there's no cars going even if the light is red. Um, hundred percent seeing a lot more black people. Like you actually just see black people kinda everywhere throughout Cali. It's not like Medellin where you just see them in a few different places um, okay let's see they're see how they're inching out and getting into the road you know I guess you just got to look and get a feel for it all right looks like it's okay yeah got to win in Rome do as the Romans that's what the saying how the saying goes believe so when in Cali do is the Calenas the Calenas the vibe out here is just super relaxed super relaxed I feel like it's a little bit more relaxed than Medellin not sure where that comes from but that's just my observation so far Up here, I gotta make a left turn, it looks like, so I'm gonna keep over the side and pop it, pop all my signal. Right. And here we go. Lots of homeless, um, 
It's to be expected in most big cities in Colombia. There's a lot of homeless people. Uh, this is totally legit right here. Oh wow, that's a lot of people just kind of posted in the park. Okay. This is to hang. Hang straight. Through here. Watch out for the potholes. Thank God I don't have a like a, a non-enduro bike. I guess you know, like my bike is good on all types of terrain, and the speed bumps, potholes don't really mess with me too much on this bike. Um, but I still try to avoid them. You see a lot of people out here doing mechanical stuff. Uh, Okay, it looks like a car shop and all that. As we get on through here. Okay, you see a guy up there doing a willy. I don't know if y'all can see, he's a little far, but he's hitting the willy. That is big in uh, Medellin. Looks like it's big here too. I wonder if they do like a a stunt night like they do in Medellin in Las Palmas. You know, no helmets. It's a lot more common here to see people with no helmets. I'll just look both ways. It doesn't even look like the street lights are on. It's real it's real just uh crazy out here when it comes to uh the way you gotta drive. Just gotta get it how you live, you know. Alright, looks like my destination should be up here. Again, I'm looking for a car wash, not, or a motor wash. Just up here around the corner. Man, these streets are just horrible. Yeah, they need some help on the streets. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so we found the wash okay oh. okay so he said pull put me to pull in right there and uh get my camera out so yeah I just want to get a quick wash since we just went through hell and hot water to get here and uh, Grizzy could use it. There's Cali Love going on. So he's already taking my bike in. And they're quick. Let's see what combo I want to get. Let's see what combo. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna get uh, no, I'll probably just go ahead and get the combo three, I think. Yeah, I don't need them to start restoring shit. Restoring the... They'd be putting all these products on it, trying to restore it. Restore, like, the black. I just need it washed, man. Buenas. Uh, quiero una... De doce mil. Combo uno. Listo. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I need. Okay. Alright, so they're already getting to it, man. He says go over here and wait. And so, we'll just go have a seat and wait. But, yeah. Looks like they had some, something going on. Maybe a uh, ciclovia. Where they close off the street and let people walk. It looks like they were doing that this morning. Uh, it is Sunday, guys. So that wouldn't surprise me if that's what they was doing over here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just sit, have a seat, wait for the, the moto to get washed, and be right back with you guys. Live from Cali, man. Cali, Colombia. Look at all my gente, all my black brothers over here. Yeah, man. Black is, is strong out here. Black is strong out here, man. 
Look like she's making a little Sancocho right there. I want to go check that out. Actually, before I turn the camera off. Sancocho de Leña. Leña, guys, is when you have, like, the... You're using wood to as a fire. Hola. Sancocho de que? Sancocho de pollo, mi amor. Ah, gallina. De gallina no, mi amor, de pollo. Ah, de pollo normal. De pollo campesino. De leña. De leña, claro. Ah, claro. Ah, no, no estoy, uh, no estoy, no tengo hambre, pero estoy grabando tu proceso. Ah, ya, bien, sí, sí, mire, verá sí, cómo sí. se hace el sancocho. Ajá, pero, mira. Pero, pura leña. Ajá, gracias, gracias. Por acá lo espero. ¿Qué? Por acá lo espero. Ok, ok, listo. She's like, for here, I'll wait for you here. So whenever you're ready, she's saying. So yeah, you saw when I said leña, she was like, yeah, of course. Yeah, that's how she's making it with the with the wood. Just it gives it some type of you know the smoky flavor and whatnot. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and have a seat and just uh, check back with you in a few minutes. ready, nice and clean, let's get out of here, looks like these dudes is tripping over here, there we go, let's go get some food, So yeah, that was cheap, uh, 12, 12 mil, I think that's what I pay in uh, Beja when I get a wash, so yeah, good price, it's like three bucks, get my mirror back right, I hate how the brakes always are a little, uh, they don't work as good after a wash. Until they dry out, they probably put some grease or something on them. So I'm going to be stopping. I can just try to get the brakes back normal. Alright. So, like I said before, it's lunchtime. It's 1.30. I'm going to go to one of my favorite places, really in all of Colombia, called Fogon de Mar. It's uh, like a seafood restaurant uh, here in Cali, and uh, they have this like a uh, like a shrimp fried rice type of deal, uh, arroz de camarones. That's really good. And every time I come to Cali, I like to try to get me some. So that's that's where we're headed. Let me see. Let's get my make sure the the GoPro is as tight as it can be, so it doesn't start slipping down. I hope it doesn't rain for a couple of days since I got the bike washed. But yeah, Sunday, Sunday fun day here in Cali, Colombia, and uh, yeah, the streets are muy activo. Muy activo. Just going up. Okay, so up here I'm going to make a left on the freeway. The red is, uh, I believe that might be for Las Americas, the soccer team here. It's like the Nacional of, National, uh, Atletico Nacional of, of Cali, basically. That's like the biggest most popular team All right. looking good girl looking good Grizzy I'm 
I'm driving pretty cautious out here, guys. I just don't know, like, <clears throat> the roads. But thank God for this little uh, phone mount. It's, it's a great viewing position to see directions while you drive. Works out really good. I didn't know if it was going to be good when I bought it, but it's been a great help. over this bridge after the bridge looks like I'm gonna exit to the right okay. wow get to see a little bit more of Cali Cali's got such a great vibe and I wouldn't mind spending even more time out here or, I mean months or even a year I got pop over because I would really like to get time with any place I just feel like when I'm traveling like even when I went to Brazil like I just wanted more time to get you gotta get to know people like locals when you get to know the locals and stuff everything everything kind of opens up for you you know um, and you're just kind of popping out for a small amount of time you're limited most of the tourist things because um, you just don't know just don't know what's going on you don't know uh, enough people basically so hop over here looks funny yeah I'm so happy I have my moto this time so the last times I came to Cali um, I came in, in a plane, so I never had transfer, my own transportation out here. Yeah, oh my god, these streets are horrible. Yeah, the streets are really bad in Cali though. It's <laughs> one thing. Both ways out here. It's, it's hard to really tell who's got the right of way. Sometimes you can, sometimes it's like you just go. Just make sure you look. Alright, get one more street and then make it right. Here I'm gonna make it right. <laughs> My brakes are just not there yet. <laughs> the fuck, bro? It starts being. <sighs> fuck, bro. No. Hold on. It starts being. It starts being. It's very important that you're doing it. Yes. It depends on the hand, but you don't expect that they're going to take it from this side or from there. Do you not see me? No, I don't see you. Está bien. ¿Está bien? Dale. Oh, oh. The dude just... I don't know if he hit me or not. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Um... So the book would tell you not to pass on the right, so maybe that's my fault. But people, it's not really out of the normal here. People pass on the right a lot. And I felt like uh, he was probably looking to the left to see when the car was coming. And, uh, and then he just clipped me. I don't know where, I, I don't know where he hit me. 
with my leg, nothing happened, so, uh, and nothing happened to the motor, so, I'm not sure what just happened, I could feel, like, a tap, I saw it, I felt like, and then he stopped, good thing he was going slow, so, anyway, here we go, get in close to the restaurant, yeah, this is the spot, this is the right spot, So this is the active little park over here. Yeah. Oh my god. Hopefully that's not the line to get in. Uh the restaurant I wanna go to. Oh yeah it is. That is the line. Crazy line. Listo. Que bajé, ¿ves? ¿Lo oyes? Sí. Me provecho. Bájale sí. un poquito ahí, ya. Gracias. Yo no puedo ir. Claro, pero ahí viene el viejo y el móvil. ¿Quién? ¿Me provecho ahí? Gracias. Okay. Alright, so. Let's go see if I can even get a spot in here. It's looking pretty bad right now. I don't know if they have a bar. I gotta try to wait to get a seat. So yeah, you can see. Anytime there's this many people, must be good. skip the line, Curry HQ. That's what happens when you Curry HQ, you know? Good things happen. Um, so yeah, sometimes you, that's why I went inside, because if I just hopped in the back of the line, I would end up waiting, you know? Gracias. We got the menu, 
So yeah, I'm gonna take a look at the menu and see what we got here. Let's take a look at Let's check the menu out. We got your drinks. Um, cocktail of the, the house. I'm gonna try one of those. You got your uh, cazuelas. They like soups. Cazuela de Lalestino. Crema de Jariba. Cazuela de Camarones. Cazuela de Mariscos. And Arroz Longestino. That's what I'm getting that for sure. I've had it and it's so good. Like, it seems simple just to get rice, but their rice is amazing. This looks good. Camarones and salsa caleña. Um, yeah, they just have a lot of different seafoods, guys. Um, if you see, I'll just put through the menu, and if you see something, you could always pause and, and look a little bit closer. Uh, prices are very affordable here. You know, ceviches. Um, yeah, we'll do everything. So I'm gonna get my order together. And then I'll take that with you in a second. Don't forget you're rocking with Cardi.hq on YouTube right now. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Alright guys, we got the fried calamari here. Looks like with some tartar sauce, some um, fried plantain chips, and the cocktail of the casa. So let's see how it is. I'm gonna bite, take a bite. Alright, take one of these calamaris, get it some tartar on there. Mmm. Oh, so fucking good. Simply the best. It's Tia Turner with Sam. It's good, man. It's so hot, it's so fresh. It's not prepackaged like a lot of places out here. That's super good. Oh my god, what is this? It's like like a lemon out of the cocoa, but with a tad bit of liquor, and it's so refreshing. And it's not as heavy as most uh, lemon out of the cocoa. It's uh, a little bit lighter and more fresher. And I love this place. I'm probably gonna eat here two, three, four times before I leave. So, yeah guys, definitely if you're in the Cali area, you gotta stop by. So let's uh, see what the main course looks like when it comes out. Y'all stay tuned. All right, the main dish has arrived. We got our shrimp fried rice with the patacones right here, freshly fried. So yeah, I'm about to try it out. Can't wait, I already know it's good. I've had it a million times, so uh, yeah, let's do it. Right here, I'm gonna make sure I get the shrimp in that first bite, guys. To get that couple shrimp in that first bite. You just don't know. Just don't know, guys. I don't know what they do to this rice. What is the best rice I've had in all of Colombia? This is it. It's like cocoa. I don't even know if it's co cocoa rice or what, but it just melts in your mouth. And the shrimp and the flavor they put into it is next level, guys. Go for a little bit of that patacon. Patacones. Also perfect, man. They know what they're doing. It must be somebody either black or from the coast or both. A black person from the coast in that kitchen, I swear. So I'm gonna tear this up and then we're gonna be out. Man, only on party.hq you're gonna be getting this fan. Like, comment, and subscribe. After my delicious meal, I decided to ride around the city a little bit and head over to the big mall in town called Cheapy Choppy. There I found that the mall was very impressive. 
There are lots of big name stores and a ton of people there. Mind you, this is a Sunday. So I just want to give you guys a little footage of me riding around uh, Cali. For those of you that are interested in what the streets look like, I find that on the moto is a fantastic perspective to get a sense of how the streets look. So here you go. I'm just riding over to the mall and that pretty much wraps up the video. Thank you guys for watching and supporting Cry.HQ. If you love me